A potentially dangerous TikTok trend has local police on alert. Yeah, it's called the Orbeez Challenge. Young people recording themselves using toy guns to shoot water beads at people. Tonight, News Channel 3's Chris Yu is joining us live in studio to explain, Chris, how widespread and potentially disastrous this trend is. Yeah, Annie, Erica, this trend is being reported all over the country, from North Carolina to Florida. And now it's here in Michigan. In fact, Dearborn police say they recently arrested a teen in connection to this trend. That teen is facing assault charges. Now, here in West Michigan, police are getting reports of the trend as well. They come in a variety of colors, and they can be found in the toy aisle. But police warn they are being used for more than just fun and games. This is the Orbeez Challenge on TikTok. Teens are loading these water beasts into toy guns, going to random people and shooting at them, all while capturing the act on camera. The Orbeez Challenge has been spreading across the country. This body cam video shows deputies in Florida arresting a 19-year-old accused of driving around and shooting Orbeez beads at random people. It's a trend that has reached West Michigan. According to Marshall Police, witnesses report seeing someone in a silver Kia with front-end damage, shooting projectiles at pedestrians. Police are asking the public to be on the lookout since videos of the incidents are likely on TikTok and other social media platforms. Or as part of surveillance footage, the Volusia County Sheriff's Office in Florida posted this video showing a drive-by targeting a mom and daughter. Marshall Police are urging anyone with information on the trend happening locally to call dispatch or silent observer or message the Marshall P Police Department Facebook page. The second man who's admitted to plotting to kidnap and kill Governor Gretchen Whitmer says that he was on a suicide mission when he joined the plot. Eye-opening testimony unfolding in federal court on another day in the trial of the four men accused of plotting to kidnap the governor. News Channel 3's Mike Cravesig joins us outside the courtroom in Grand Rapids to explain why Caleb Frank says it took him some time to be all in on this plot. In court today, Caleb Frank says he got involved with the Wolverine Watchmen because he wanted to die in a firefight. Frank says he thought the kidnapping plot was a bad idea at first until some of the suspects on trial convinced him they were serious. 27-year-old Caleb Franks, now the second kidnapping conspirator to testify against the four men Frank says he plotted and trained with. Franks and Ty Garbin, both taking plea deals in exchange for their testimony. Both say Adam Fox was the ringleader of the alleged plot. Could this be the final nail in the coffin? I have no comment. Defense attorneys argue the plans were just talk and that FBI informants steered the suspects. Frank testifying today, he and the four other suspects on trial acted on their own. Frank says the suspects believed it was their constitutional right to kidnap the governor. During this June 2020 training, Frank says at that point he still didn't take the talk of kidnapping the governor seriously. He says after more training and more convincing from the suspects on trial, he was all in. This video shows Franks with his modified AR-15, the gun he says he planned to use to take out the governor's security detail during the kidnapping. In his testimony, Frank says suspect Barry Croft planned to take out other guards with a grenade launcher attached to his rifle. Are you finding some inconsistencies in the story? It seemed like there were a few. Defense attorneys plan to cross-examine Franks' testimony tomorrow. Earlier today, they challenged Ty Garbin's statements made on the stand. He's the first suspect who pled guilty to the conspiracy in exchange for his testimony. Lied hardcore, didn't he? About what? About what? Who, Garbin? Yeah, August 9th. He had my guy there. Yeah, but what about Caleb Franks? Well, right, he confirmed his lies. Caleb Franks does have a criminal record. It includes home invasion and drug charges. A judge this afternoon says he'll allow defense attorneys to introduce that information to the jury as they determine his credibility. Breaking news right now, Kalamazoo's fire marshal is investigating a house fire in the Vine neighborhood this morning. News Channel 3's Lexi Petrovich is live at the scene right now. Lexi, we can tell it's a very active scene going on right there behind you. Tell us what you're learning right now. 
Well, Laura, this is a house near the corner of Vine and Mill Street. You can see it's being demolished behind me. What started as a house fire is now leading to this for safety reasons. They have to take the house down. The entire wall closest to us here is completely being torn down at this time. Now, crews have been here since about 1230. That's when they first arrived on scene. They say this house fire is being considered suspicious because there were no utilities that were operating inside of the home and there's no telling as to what may have caused it at this time. Now, Scott, Scott Brooks, the fire marshal for Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety says that the fire started on the second floor, got into the attic. That's when the roof of the home and the second floor began to partially collapse. At that point, it just became more of a concern for safety for people in the area. They decided it was the best choice to demolish the home. So that is what they are doing at this hour. They also tell me that the house that was directly next to it uh, on the side furthest from us was also at risk. They had to evacuate the family that was home at the time from that house for safety reasons. But as far as this house goes, it was unoccupied again. It is being considered suspicious because there were no utilities that were operating there. Now they do expect to be here for another hour or so, but at this time, the corner of Vine and Mill Street completely blocked off. This is an area that you'll want to be avoiding for the time being. For now, I'm live in Kalamazoo. We'll continue to bring you updates as we learn more. 